Welcome to the Journal on DW. I'm Terry Martin in Berlin. Our top stories this hour. Egypt's military defends its crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood as the death toll from days of violence continues to rise. In the Far East, parts of China and Russia battle the worst flooding in decades. And Jamaica's Usain Bolt becomes the most successful athlete ever at the World Championships. Egypt's military leader has vowed to tolerate no more violence following days of clashes that have killed nearly 900 people. Officials say another 36 died in police custody on Sunday. The detainees reportedly suffocated on tear gas during a riot. Relative calm has now returned to the capital Cairo with a heavy army presence on the streets. But some followers of deposed President Mohamed Morsi continue to call for his return. A team of United Nations inspectors has arrived in Syria to investigate whether chemical weapons have been used in the conflict there. The inspectors are due to spend two weeks traveling to areas where chemical agents are alleged to have been deployed. Both sides in Syria's conflict accuse the other of using chemical weapons, but there is no independent verification this has happened. The team's limited mandate does not allow it to apportion blame if it finds evidence. The fighting in Syria continues to drive people from their homes, with the UN now reporting a massive influx of refugees into northern Iraq. Officials say that more than 15,000 Syrians have fled into the Iraqi region of Kurdistan in the past few days. The refugees took advantage of a new pontoon bridge that allowed them to leave Syria. Many said they were fleeing the Islamist al-Nusra Front, which is affiliated with al-Qaeda. Among the nearly two million people who have left Syria since the conflict began. <laughs> Floods continue to ravage large areas of northeastern China and Russia's Far East. Chinese officials say the death toll has now risen to 43 and dozens more people are missing. The region along Russia's border in Heizhongong province has been hit hardest. Hundreds of thousands have been relocated. There's also been heavy flooding and landslides in southeast China, where at least six people have been killed. Parts of China experience floods every rainy season, but this year's are the most severe in decades. Still to come in this journal, a roundup of the latest sports news. But first, a brief look at some other news making headlines around the world. Sports news now, and sprint star Usain Bolt has chalked up another gold medal at the World Athletics Championships in Moscow. In German Bundesliga action, Nuremberg took on Hertha Berlin in the first Sunday game. Hertha were on a high after a massive win last week, but they came down to earth with a big bump in a two-all draw. It's just three weeks until the start of the America's Cup in San Francisco. The defending champs, Oracle Team USA, are waiting to find out who will be the challenger, Team New Zealand or Luna Rossa from Italy. In the first race of a best-of-seven series, New Zealand came out on top despite some major mishaps. What a sport. Thanks for watching DW. Stay with us.